You know, I, I, uh, I don't like the slang for vaginas. Vaginas have pejorative slangs. Like pussy, it's supposed to be you're a wimp, you're a pussy, or you're a cunt. And why do vaginas have negative, negative pejorative slang? Isn't that amazing? Which has nothing to do with this poem. Okay. <laughs> the only introduction is that I run Stark Reality for the past seven years, and uh, it's Studio 150. You're interested, you can approach me afterwards. This is about a bad date. I immortalize them. Watch when you go out with a poet, you may end up immortalized in a poem. It's called Anger, he said. Your poems have anger, he said. It is hunger, I said. Frothy, sugary, bubbly candy words do not satisfy a lurking tigress hungry for truth. This seizing vixen's mouth around your cock takes you back to birth. My hunger is for you, and now you run because you know the real me, and you know the real you. The mirror does not lie. I'll give you my wrist to tie and a blindfold for my eyes. I will bind you to my holy bed, sail my tongue along your helpless flesh. It's my hunger that swallows you whole. The only anger you see is of this woman who is not free. Whoa. This is about being too many things. It's called Beyond. Uh, I have three backgrounds. I'm Eastern European, then my grandparents came to Argentina, so I'm Latin, then I came here, and I'm American. I don't know what this shit to be. All right. <laughs> this is called Beyond. You say I'm white, a Jew, Argentinian, Hispanic, Latina, chiquita banana, no way. I searched for the real me before dead mom and country got me before earth held me between birth and death, the real me that ceased to be freed. I was thrashing in the wound ready to roll. I was swallowing her blood before the ninth month bolted me from her flesh, ready for revelations, experience, and breath. The bullshit of my birth brainwashing began. Tooth fairy came before anyone else. The tooth dropped and I got a dime. Not a reason why it left me or, or why it fell. And then the Christian girl telling me to leave room on the right side of my bed for this Jesus who was dead. And to the left is the devil, I suppose, which leaves me in the middle. Then came the small tree with gifts under its leaves. January 6th, day of the Magi. Little did I know till I arrived in the States, my grandparents were Russian and Polish and I was a Jew. Hey, this was new. And how did I learn this? My brothers were 13 and bar mitzvahs being planned and I was confused from the Magi's gifts to Hebrew schools. <laughs> My brother learned to be men and I was left out once again. They never mentioned gods or dogs or reasons why we might be born. So I believe what they said, having no mind to judge what's alive or dead, asking no questions, losing no sleep over what's shallow or deep. Free I was and didn't know till I landed in the States. I came to this land of black and white and multitudes of colors in between. And what a scene it was. White beating blacks and blacks beating white. And I was one of the beaten, not knowing why. I went home crying to these bio parents, blamed me, said I shouldn't be with other people, not my own. Screamed at me till I was numb after being beaten by these girls taught to hate, thinking color was a key to their identity. My blood is red because nature said. My skin is missing darkness because I have no pigment. I have no history beyond my own search. It's all gone, done, delivered back to the makers and the senders of this body, to this land. I stand on my own soul, the only reason I am whole. You decide if color, nationality, or religion will be your key. But as for me, peel the layers and find the core that changes every day because I am defined by nothing, not boxed or archetyped. I speak for the unmentioned in the land of the gray, in the planet of the shadow, beyond meaning or analysis, outside books, formulas, and conclusions. I live in the unknown where every day is a new birth. Come find me. I welcome the hunt. Two seconds, two seconds. This is called, this is, this is all real. 
School in the morning, slave to the bell, good girl. Permission slips and cutting school trips to upstairs bedroom. Only did it one time. I undid my dress, revealed my breasts. His lust went bust. He said, I can't do this. And he ran to pray that day. He wrote me, God is first. I told him I am first, not God. When I was five, I raised my hand and teacher said, Yes, quiero hacer caca, I want to take a shit. She looked at me as if I spoke properly, which reminded me years later, watching the, move, the picture of Harry and Tonto. My brother sitting next to me in the movie, a man called a woman, cunt, naive at 16. I didn't know what the word meant, except there must have been spelled C-U-N-T. I whispered to my brother sitting next to me, what is cunt? He pictured it in the seat and I didn't know why he was suddenly shy. So I asked him once more, what is a cunt? No answer yet, he shushed me restlessly. I guess I better wait till the end of the flex. So it ended and mystified was I. While my brothers suddenly were shy, I followed them into the street as they walked away from me. So I yelled, what is a cunt? It's just a word to me that rhymes with punt. Could be a synonym for runt. By then I knew I'd have to hunt for the meaning of cunt. So my brothers ran faster and I gave up thinking a cunt was a bad thing. My Brothers still don't know a cunt is two lips and a permanent kiss. Thank oh. you. Oh.